Hello everybody, welcome back to Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment. We are headed into the hollow area for the first time. So if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. First we should go see what yes, we have to see none first. Oh, that was easy. Sinon, are you here? What is it? More battle training? Yeah, you look pretty sleepy. I could come back another time. No, I'm good to go. I don't have anything else to do anyway. Hm. Yeah, you're doing great. A few more reps and you'll be ready for a real battle. A few more reps? How many more do I have to do? Well, practice makes perfect, so maybe a hundred more times? A hundred? You also have to practice basic weapon handling. Sword skills take a while to recharge. You really take your training seriously, huh? Maybe too seriously. Well, she's definitely improving faster than I expected. She may complain quite a bit, but she always trains earnestly and learns really fast. That weapon still doesn't look right for her, though. Maybe daggers weren't the right weapon. So I think they suit her better than maces and spears. Mm -hmm. See now. She died. What's going on? Watch out, you're gonna fall over. Da da da. Hmm? This feels strange. What am I? Eek! Whoa. You scared the living daylights out of me. Why are you screaming like that? Why do you think? Look where you're touching me. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, you mean. I'm sorry, Sinon. I thought you were going to faint, so I panicked. I'm sure you didn't do that on purpose? Of course I am. I never do something like that on purpose. Sorry to imagine when you're being so pathetic. In fact, that annoys me even more. Um, maybe we should take a break? You must be tired if you're nearly fainting. Well, that was awkward. Humph. Today sure is warm. These really are the perfect weather settings. You can stop training for now. Maybe it's time for a nap. Or maybe not. Hmm. Uh, Sina? She's asleep. I guess Sina likes taking naps as well. She looked sleep deprived when I got here, though, and nearly fainted. Thing is, though, now she's leaning against me. How am I going to wake her up? I don't want to make her mad again. Maybe I'll just let her be. Hmm. Who... who are you? Sina? You? No. No, I don't want... don't want to... see. I guess he's dreaming. Doesn't sound like a nice dream, either. What should... what should I do? Someone, please... Bah! Uh, hey, good morning, Sina. Da, da, da. You didn't do anything weird to me when I was sleeping, did you? Huh? Well, of course I didn't. I see. Well, good. I'm really curious about her dream. It seems she might have been remembering something. She doesn't look like she wants me to ask her about it, though. I think I better keep quiet. It's a matter of privacy and manners. Well, that was fun. Morning, Ego. Alright, off to the hollow area. <laughs> No idea how the hollow area works. I don't remember. We're gonna work with Philia for the hollow area mission, because she's important. Speak to Philia in the administration area. There's other visits I need to do. Okay, let me do the housekeeping visits, and then I'll come back to this. That's what I'll do. Alright, Yui went alone. You alright, Yui? Welcome back, Daddy. Hey, Yui. You must be exhausted after all that monster slaying. I sure am glad to see you back here in one piece. That's right, you and Mommy will have unlocked all the game's floors in no time. Thanks, Yui. Show of confidence means a lot, even though I'm about to redirect myself. Hey, don't mention it. Come to think of it, I wonder if our progress has unlocked any items at the NPC merchant stalls. Can I go take a quick peek? There'll be plenty of time to relax later. Daddy, are you going to take it easy for the rest of the day? Actually, I was just thinking I might head into town to see if any new items had become available at the shops. Really? But you and Mommy are already so powerful. Apart from consumables, I can't imagine we'll find any items that will come in handy. You might be right. Still no harm in trying, huh? You never know when we might get lucky. Besides, we might be strong and all, but our enemies are growing stronger every day. Strong enemies means uh, I've got to look for any way I can increase my firepower. Hence item hunting. Increasing your firepower, huh? Hmm, when you put it like that. Something the matter, Yui? You look like you've just had an idea. Hmm? Oh no, it's nothing. I was just thinking how what you said makes a lot of sense. Anyway, see you later, Daddy. Good luck finding what you're looking for. Oh yeah, in that case, I guess I'll be off. 
Something about the way she reacts suggests there's something she's not telling me. Still no use worrying about it now. I guess time to go see if I can't rustle up some bargains. So much for striking and lucky. Turns out trying down equipment better than what we have already isn't as easy as I thought. Even the range of available consumables isn't what I'd hoped for. That's what I get for being optimistic. So I guess you wouldn't be striking it lucky if you struck luck every time. Might as well cut my last set back to the end. Those battle preparations won't do themselves. First, I'll head to my room and get my items in order. Hmm. Hmm? Is that Yui's voice? Yeah, yeah. What on earth would she be doing? Yeah, Huff Pant. Sounds like she's out back. She'll probably go see what she's up to. There she is. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. What the hell? Come on, budge. Wait, what's she trying to light around with this huge axe for? Someone must have left here by accident. She's probably trying to get rid of it, I guess. She'll throw out her back if she's not careful. Looks like I got here just in the nick of time. Yui, trying to give yourself a hernia or something? Don't lift that above your... Huh? Oh, daddy, it's... Wh whoops. Why dramatic? Yui, watch out, it's about to fall on your... Eek. Shouldn't have distracted her. Gotta make it in time. Phew, you just about gave me a heart attack. Oh, daddy. What did I tell you? It's too dangerous to mess around with this stuff. Yes, Daddy, I'm sorry I made you worry. No, it's... Look, I shouldn't have surprised you by calling out when I did either. From now on, you promise me you'll ask someone to help you when you're carrying heavy things? What kind of scary brain leaves behind an axe this big anyway? Where do you want me to put it, Yui? Actually, it um, wasn't left behind it. Kind of belongs to me. <laughs> it's yours. You and we have talked about this. It's just, when you were talking about increasing your firepower earlier, I thought... Oh, that. I did say that, I suppose. I didn't expect you to take it as an invitation to wade into battle on my behalf. Anyway, I tried, but, well, that's things a little more difficult to master than I'd thought. Huh. Well, thanks anyway, Yui. Hehe. <laughs> I like it when you stroke my head like that, Daddy. Grateful to have you looking out for us. But listen, there's more than one way to help somebody, okay? From now on, try to help me in a way more suited to your abilities. Way suited my abilities. Got it. I'll think about what they might be. Good. Now promise you won't do anything dangerous like that again, okay? Heart still pounding from the fright you gave me back there. I'm sorry, Daddy. It won't happen again, I promise. Okay, I'll hold you to that, Yui. Alright, I think I'll head on back to my room. I should start getting these items in order. In that case, how about I help you out, Daddy? It'll be fun. Sure thing, Yui. The more the merrier. Hmm, maybe I should have been stricter with her back there. Still, she was only trying to help. Only a real jackass would get too angry with a little girl in those circumstances, right? Sigh. Who knew parenting was such a balancing act? Most people. Okay, so we did that. Hi, Asuna. Oh, hey, Kirito. Hey, Liz, I came to help you hone your skills. Yeah, I've got to hurry up and increase those skills, huh? Hmm, you don't seem as fired up as usual. It's nothing. Don't mind me. Let's get started. Cool. What's with Liz today? I've never seen her swing her hammer so half-heartedly. Now to dip the blade in the cold water. Huh? Look out, Liz. Eek. Are you okay? I, I think so. It was a near miss. We're in a safe zone. The blade broke as soon the blade broke as soon as I plunged into the cold water, shooting shards into the air. Is this kind of thing a usual occupational has for blacksmiths? No. In fact it's the first time I've almost been beheaded by one of my creations. You're in a safe zone. Well we're in the safe zone, so I don't think you would have come to any harm. Still are you sure you're okay? Yeah, thanks. But for blacksmiths, this stuff is as basic as it gets. I can't believe I messed that up. Look, these things happen. You can't be perfect every time. No one's no use. My smithing skills are gone. It's over. Thought I'd be fine with a bit of practice, but it isn't that easy. I realize that now. So that's why you've been so down. Y you noticed. Sure. You just haven't been yourself today. Oh, I had no idea it was obvious. Did something happen? Earlier, I mean. Well, another one of my so-called loyal customers banded me. I can't really blame them, though. It's just... I'm just not that good anymore. I understand, though, having the right weapon can mean the difference between life and death. No one wants a sword made by an amateur. Liz, can you spare some time? Time is the one thing I do have. I've had so many orders canceled, I've got nothing to do. Alright then, just come with me. Where are we going? Somewhere nice, I promise. Okay, wait for me. Well, that's beautiful. Here we are. Where are we? It's my secret place. It's quiet. You can really relax here. I thought this would be perfect for working on your smithing skills. There's no one around, so you can really concentrate. Yeah, I'd prefer no one saw my lousy work. 
I can't believe you took me to such a special place. Oh, you're a special girl. What? I mean, I knew you needed a change of scenery. I don't know of any of the recreational spots in town. To be honest, I couldn't think of anywhere else. Sorry I didn't put more thought into it. Oh, there's no need to apologize. I'm happy to be here, although a recreational spot would have been fun, too. I don't need anything more. I'm just glad you brought me here. Thank you so much, Kirito. Well, Liz, if you're happy, then I'm happy. But I still can't believe you took me to such a wonderful place. It's not like I'm anyone special, Kirito. Oh, but you are. You are special, Liz. Well, what are you saying? Do I really mean that much to you? Yeah. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my weapons. I wouldn't be able to fight. Oh. I kind of thought it was something like that. In this game, weapons speak louder than words. If you're not wielding the right sword, you're done for. Without you, I might not even be here. I owe you my life, Liz. I think you're exaggerating, but I do hope you at least think of me as a useful partner. Um, Kirito, can I ask you something? Sure, what is it? wonder if you could repay me for, you know, being a useful partner, help you stay alive or whatever. You couldn't, um, recharge me, could you? Recharge you? What do you mean? Liz, you're a little too close for comfort. What on earth are you doing? I told you, I'm just recharging my energy levels. Um, Liz, I'm not sure this is appropriate. <laughs> Won't be long. Nearly there. Okay. <laughs> That's a nice picture. That might be the thumbnail. Um, Liz? Please, just a little longer. Fine, take your time. Let me know when you're fully charged. Hehe, <laughs> thanks, Kirito. Oh, I feel so much better. Now that's the Liz I know. I'll never hone my blacksmith skills by fussing and fretting. I just have to swing that hammer and get on with it. But if my batteries ever get drained again, could you take me back to that special place? Of course, I don't mind. And you let me recharge? Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, now that's a promise. Don't you forget it. Thank you so much for today, Kirito. Come and see me anytime. Oh, I'll be back. I wasn't sure about all that recharging business, but if it made Liz happy, I guess it's okay. <laughs> hey, we did increase her skills. Where are you, Silica? There you are. Oh, why, why do you have an exclamation? Ah, nice time, Kirito. Can I ask you a little favor? A favor, what is it? Did you give this to Asuna? Herbal tea. It's got quite a peculiar aroma. I was on a quest in town and got a hold of it. It's good for recovering from fatigue. Austin's had a hard time recently. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Hmm, so what? that's what it does, huh? I think Austin's up in her room. Could you go take it to her? Hmm, she's in her room. Why can't you give it to her? God, do I have to spell it out? I'm giving you the chance to show how kind you are. She won't mind being interrupted. See you later. What was that about? Well, if Austin's in her room, I guess I can go drop this off now. Okay, if that item's drop rate is bad, I'm pretty sure the 56th floor drop rates would work as a substitute. Alright, message sent. That's the end of that. What's next? Come in. Are you sure now's a good time? It's not important or anything. I'm Kirito. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Just catching out with some communications. Now, the commander of the command structure of the Knights of the Blood Oath is in disarray. Well below the 75th floor. It's the headquarters jurisdiction, but I'm in charge of everything above the 75th floor. I'm sure it'll settle down eventually. Anyway, what's up, Kirito? It's not like you to visit my room at this time. Here, it's a present from Lisbeth. Wow, that smells delightful. I'd guess chamomile? Really? I mean, it's not the real thing, of course, but it's a decent imitation. This is delicious. It's meant to help you recover from fatigue. Lisbeth could have dropped it off herself, but she asked me to do it. Oh, is that right? Maybe she's... Hmm, I have to, talk to... I have to thank her later. Well, I feel refreshed. Thanks, Kirito. Good, I'm glad you liked it. If there's anything else I can do, just let me know. Let me think. I've got it. Why don't you take over my job as Vice Commander? What? Pretty sure I already turned down that post. Well, you said no one would ever let a beater be the sub-leader of the most powerful guild. But there's no one left in the game who would ever look down on you and call you a beater like that. If anything, everyone really respects you. Without you, we wouldn't have even made it to the 76th floor. Yeah, but still. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Kirito. You may technically belong to the guild, but everyone knows you're a lone wolf. I'm not going to suddenly just make you the vice commander. Besides, I just wouldn't want to press you into it like that. You know, if it'd be... If it'd lessen your burden, Austin, I wouldn't mind taking on the role of vice commander, though I know how stressful it is. But think about it, the Knights of the Blood Oath all follow you. You're the lightning flash, after all. I can't just come along and ruin everything you've built up. Hmph, <laughs> I guess so. I should just dig in and keep going. Kirito, this chamomile tea you gave me really does seem to be healing all my aches and pains. I feel a lot better now. I can keep working for a while longer. Okay, but don't push yourself too hard. Right, gotcha. Ta-da. Huh?
us. And Silica, don't you dare run away. Yes. yes. Housekeeping. How's Pina been lately? Her health has worse than has it? No, she's been fine. In fact, she's more lively than ever now. Scra, scra, scra. Yeah, I see what you mean. Pina looks like she's matured. She's practically an adult now. Scra, scra. Now, now, Pina, don't show off just because Kirito is watching. Scra, scra, scra. Listen to her. She's bursting with energy. She's been like this ever since that last battle. While she was defending you, acting almost like your shield and practically soaking up the enemy attacks. Yes, and you know what? Ever since then, her defense has really improved. Hmm, looks like your familiar has learned a new skill. Maybe it was the teleport crystal she swallowed right before taking that enemy strike. It's funny you should say that. I, I actually spoke with quite a few beast tamers after the battle. They told me that you can power up your tame monster by feeding them certain special foods. I see. See that teleport crystal was some kind of special food? I also told me that depending on the type of monster and what you give them to eat, there could be all sorts of different effects. So that means there may be other special power-up items that you can feed Pina. Did they mention what kind of items you can try? That's what I'm looking into right now. As soon as I find something out, you'll be the first to know. I appreciate that. Really interested in Pina's development. I'll do some research on my own, too. If I'm going to go get some special power-up items for her, let me know and I'll join you. Thank you so much. I'll be sure to let you know. There must be all sorts of power-up items for tame monsters hidden in this game. Cool premise. So, should we go to the place we got the ore from? Let's go together. Thanks, the ore we're looking for is called Chiming Ore. Pretty sure it's a drop from an enemy at the abandoned weapon test site. Destination has been set. Oh, there's Sylvendis. If you forget your objective, you should talk to the quest giver, Philia. So this is the registered Salindis. Dramatic music. People fighting here? People are fighting here. Okay, how do I bring up the map? There it is. Antechamber of the... Sacred Swords, this path. We need to be careful. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Doesn't look like the right place to me. I don't, I don't know where I'm going. Um... I don't think going into a building is the choice here, but I, I don't know. Whoa! Alright. Let's go, folks. So many of us. Good job. Don't trust these things. Yeah, didn't trust them. Okay, so that's the wrong way. That's the other teleport point. Alright, there's an exit to the right over here. There's 
It's also whatever that is. Not equipment, dang it. Don't mess with bees. <laughs> this enemy. a lot more determined than others. What is this? A freaking graveyard. Oh, he's so quick. Oh. Try and survive. There's a whole lot of nasty around here. Through the middle. Another big dead end. Wow. Here's something. Current maps now registered in the administration area. It's now possible to teleport between these two locations. Teleport, yes, I'm so lost. Okay, so I end up down there. So from beat and sprawl. Okay, I have to go. Can I zoom? So I have to go through the antechamber of the sacred sword to Garden Paradise north and south to the weapon area. But that'll be another story for another time. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sword Online Hollow Fragment. We'll be doing more hollow area exploration afterwards. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna teleport home just to be safe. See you around. See you later. Uh, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.